Well, when I came down uh, from David in, in May of 73, I came to Paso, I built the old Estrella up the road, that planted that 700 acres and built that winery. But when I came here, there were three wineries, York Mountain, Pazenti, and Rhoda. And they'd been here since, you know, before Prohibition. And us and, and the Hoffmans came in at essentially the same time. And the Hoffmans made some really good wines and we did some really good things at Estrella. And then some people started coming, and, but it grew very slowly. First thing you have to do, I'm just channeling Mr. Mandavi, you have to be first class in the quality of the wine you produce. You, you don't make cuts, you make sure you're making good wine and then recognize it's not just the wine industry you're in, you're in the hospitality industry. I'm 80 years old, I'm at the winery every day. When we did the, when we bought the first piece of ground out here at the, the old Australia, we paid 50 bucks an acre for it. And when I, 10 years later, when I bought this property, is 65 acres, I paid $3,200 an acre. I mean, I was out promoting probably Paso more so than, than my own, the winery because if Paso didn't succeed, the wineries here weren't going to succeed. And uh, I, I remember, you know, Paso, I mean, on at 5 o'clock in the evening on Saturday night in July, you could have any parking spot downtown that you wanted. A handshake was all you needed. You didn't have to have it in writing, or you didn't have to have a lawyer. You said, yes, I'm going to do this, boom, and it was done. And you didn't have to worry about it. I love that about Paso. I still love that about Paso. But it, as things have grown, you know, we, we now have, God, I don't know, 10, 15 restaurants that are uh, you could put down in any city and they would be successful. The complexity of a good Cabernet, it changes in the glass. There's always something going on. Zinfandel is, you know, is a fun wine. I like the raspberry. You know, there, there are some wines that are just very delicious, but they're simple. Cabernet is delicious, but complex. Uh, like a good Pinot Noir is, or a good Syrah. And I came to California to make Cabernet. It's still our flagship.